Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eno. So in today's video, I'll be talking about a text editor that's available to us on uh, Linux and Unix machine. The text editor I'm gonna be talking about is the VI text editor, which is also or called as Vim. Now Vim is an improved version of VI, which adds addi additional features such as uh, uh, highlighting of text but the, the two have the same functionality. Now, when we are editing text using a VI, we have to be aware of the two different modes. There is the command or the normal mode, which is the default mode, and then there's the um, input mode where we can actually input text and uh, edit text. We'll start the demonstration here by uh, opening a file. So I already have a file here that I've created for demonstration. The name is test file. You can view the, the contents using a cut command. So this is the, the text file. So I'll go ahead and open it using a VI. Now, as you can see here, you get the status of the, the file. It just gives you the name test file. And while in this, mode, which is the uh, command mode or the normal mode, you can not actually input any text or you can not edit any text. So for instance, if I try to press F, it shows me F down here, but it's not really making any changes. In order for us to get into the uh, input mode, there's various keys on your keyboard that you can press. You can press I, you can press O, you can press A. Any of those should bring you to the input mode or the insert mode. So if you watch down here, I'm going to press A and now it says insert. Now we are in the input mode and we can actually make changes by uh, inputting text. So here I can add day. I can delete that for a day. I can scroll up and delete this. So as you can see, I can make changes. Now, once you're done making whatever changes you're making to your text file, you'll need to go, in order to actually save the changes, you have to quit or you have to move from the input mode back to the command mode where we were, which is the default mode. And to do that, you have to press the escape key. So I'm gonna press it. Now, while we are here, if I wanted to save this file, we have different options. You can use colon W Q for quit, write and quit, and that should save the file and save the changes. However, if you don't want to save the changes, you can do colon, a small case Q, and then exclamation mark. This will uh, quit the file without making any changes. Now, I made the change here. If I, if I press enter, you see, if I go to cut, that change, that change was not made. Now, if I go back in and then go to press I, I'm in insert mode, and scroll all the way up. And this time, if I delete this, I'll do escape or colon WQ. Show that the changes were made. As you can see here, uh, the hello there is not there. Now we'll open the file again using Vim, which does pretty much the uh, same thing as VI, except that if you add like many lines and you add special uh, words, it can it has the ability to highlight some uh, text in your file. So some of the things we can do while we're in the command mode is we can search for a word. And to do that, you just have to press forward slash and then the word you want to search for. So I'm searching for gray. It has highlighted gray for me. Now, another thing we can do, we can undo changes. For instance, I will select some text, delete it, and then I can undo that. Now to select a multiple lines, we can do V for visual. So if I press V, 
you see it says visual and then I use my uh, arrow keys uh, left and right here I can select multiple lines of text and then if I wanted to delete all those lines I can use D and the lines are gone I can paste that text using P and that paste the text another thing you can do is you can delete a line so I can do to delete a line you can do DD if I do DD it deletes that high I can use U to undo that so if you're looking to say copy and paste text Let's choose visual and then let's uh, arrow keys. And then to copy, just use Y. Now the text has been copied. I can move the cursor there. Then I can use P to paste whatever I copied. And then I can do U to undo it. So that's some of, those are some of the basic commands that one can use when working with text files and using using Vim or VI. One last command I wanted to show is for replacing text. Now the command, in order to use it, you, have, you start with the colon here, percentage S for substitute, forward slash, the word you want to replace. Let's say I want to replace great with good. Forward slash G for global. That means the entire file, not just one occurrence. Then if you press enter, as you can see here, good. I mean, great has been replaced with good. And if you're satisfied with all your changes, colon, right, and then quit. And then you can use exclamation to force it. And now if you use cut, you can see I made that change. So that's pretty much it as far as the basics of uh, working with VI. It can be a little confusing when you first start using it because it's got so many options. But there's just a few options that one needs to actually edit a file and save it. Um, if one wanted to know the um, all the more advanced options available, there is a tutor, the Vim tutor that you can access. The command for that is Vim tutor, and if you scroll down, this one gives you it's kind of like a demo of all the different commands that are available. So it walks you through the pro the uh, the different commands that one can use when working with Vim. All right, that's all for this video. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.